Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 15 of Climbing the Ladder, our FM20 journeyman save. Uh, I want to apologize. Uh, one of our one of, one of you guys uh, mentioned that my audio was out on the second half of the video. I don't know how that happens because typically those are all recorded back to back, uh, you know, one match right after the other. But uh, yeah, being what it is. So I went ahead. I didn't delete the video, but I made it uh, private. So it's on there. That way I can keep the views that I had. But no sense in you guys sitting through a, a busted audio. So uh, my apologies for that. I think that was episode 12, he said. So that went up a couple of days ago. Uh, but anyway, uh, moving on. I think all the rest were okay. I spot checked a couple of them and uh, they appeared to be all right. So we'll see. So, we are getting ready to start, maybe, our fourth season with Hulson. So, we finished sixth, then won the second division, stayed up mid, solid mid-table last year, and this will be our second year in the top division. I think at this point, this will be our last season at Hulson, I think. Hopefully, we can have a good performance I hope, um, and and then we can look for a job elsewhere to kind of expand, but we'll see. I mean, you know, we'll have to take that as we go. Um, you know, if we if we let just out of curiosity, if we win, right? I mean, there is a, a higher level, yeah. So we could go up and stay with them, I suppose. But anyway. We'll, we'll play that as we go, but four seasons with one club. We did gain one promotion. I think this will, you know, this, this probably needs to be our last year here if we want to continue to grow and develop. I also would like to move to a professional level club, take that next step. Now, before we get started today, let's take a quick look at a few things. So we, uh, that's our senior affiliate, our, uh, lower uh, uh, affiliate uh three two loss we played them pretty well uh no lone players from them here at, at uh at this time of season they didn't have anybody in fact if we take a look at them their uh their second squad is pretty thin and their under 19 squad is non-existent so yeah i'm i'm uh not too impressed with them as our affiliate to this point. Uh, then we beat uh, Larvik 8-0, uh, a 2-0 win over Nodar no no Nordarmlins, Nordarmlins, and a 2-1 win over Girard, Giroud. And uh, so we're getting into the league. We're going to play Ranheim and Odds. Odds is recently promoted, I believe. Uh, let's see. And the season preview, no, odds, okay, I don't even, oh, there's odds, they were recently relegated, okay, so they came down from the level above us, uh, Ranheim and Elevum Football are pro the promoted clubs, we're still picked near the bottom of the table, uh, but 13th, which is a little bit better, you know, much better than we were last season, and let's take a quick look at our transfers. We, we've been busy. I've made some moves uh, since the end of the season. So Kenneth Bilstad, we let him go. Dalvik Rainier added him to another one of our players. I think they signed four of our players, uh, but they got him on a free. Bilstad, he just never worked out. I mean, he, he could play both wing positions, but um, we added a little depth at the top of the uh the squad, and so that made him expendable. Uh, Stuart Cromwell was uh, an Irish player, an uh, Irish left winger, and we let him go. Uh, just a little weak in the technicals again, just trying to upgrade a little bit. We let him go on a free to Eggerslin. Uh, Berkland, our backup keeper, went on a free to Ruffos. Dennis Knudsen went to Yerv on a free, and Magnus Fritzel Ostman went to Moss on a free. 
Uh, Glenn Nesham, we sold him to Tromso for $1,300. And Olberg went to Kongsvinger on a free. And Ola Selnes went for four hundred and fifty to Grindavik. So we made a little bit of money. Uh, not a ton, not a ton. But we didn't spend anything. Well, we spent 150 bucks. All right, so who did we bring in? Well, we brought in uh, a couple of lonies. So we'll look at those guys last. Uh, but we brought in Eduardo Lopez. This was right at, at right at the end of the season. Uh, he's a right winger, and this guy, I'm afraid, is gonna. Well, I don't know. We'll see. This is one of the guys that. Well, no, actually, this is the guy. One of the guys why we were able to get rid of some of the other players. Uh, four star current ability. Physicals are really good. Determination, work rate are really good. Passing, first touch, free kick taking, dribbling are all solid. So he can be an attacker there. Crossing's not great, but I still think he's an upgrade. Uh, then we brought in uh, Truis Asvold on a free. Uh, he is a two and a half star, three and a half star left winger. Physicals, uh, we were really weak on that left wing. Val, uh, Valterson, I think, is the only guy we had out there. First touch, free kick taking, passing. Uh, so I like all that. Flair, leadership, bravery. Uh, he's actually solid in crossing and dribbling. He couldn't really find anybody that would be like a really above board player at that position. So, uh, but he was one of the better players that we found. Uh, Raymond Bergenheim, he comes to us on a free. Uh, he can play right wing. He can play right wing back, which is a new position we're going to be looking at this year. Uh, and he can also slide up into the central midfield, which in the wing back will need that. So he can play a couple of positions. If we play the four four twos, he can play out on the wing. If we play this three five three three two two or whatever it is that we're playing, uh, he can play uh, wing back or center. And he is actually pretty good. He's got decent pace, acceleration, four star current, dribbling, first touch, long shots, passing. He can also tackle and mark decently and he's got really good mentals so he could be one of the guys you can see four four uh friendlies playing a 7.5 uh heine sternerson not really impressed with this guy but he fills a need because he fills a homegrown slot and i was one player short and i was scrabbling to find somebody because I had to have somebody or we were going to have to go with a 24-man roster. I just noticed his eyebrows grow like mine. You get the little devil points there. Interesting. Uh, I didn't have that when I was younger, just as I got older. But anyway, uh, really, really solid physicals. Work rate solid. Um, marking, passing, tackling. So, you know, he can do a job as a defensive mid, but he can also play that right wing back. He can't cross well, but decent first touch and dribbling. So I think he might be able to do the job. He started two friendlies, came off the bench in the other two, uh, and that was a position of need and not a lot of wing backs. So, <laughs> you know, we were kind of looking around. Diego Romero, this is a big striker that we signed. Uh, three and a half star current, five star potential. He's got pretty good physicals, pace, acceleration, uh, dribbling, finishing. Uh, he's got decent passing ability and solid first touch. Uh, so three goals in four uh, UEFA matches. Uh, he comes from Andorra. I don't know where that is. Um, do you care? If you care, I'll look it up. Let me know in the comments because I don't know where it's at. Uh, but anyway, we signed him. And uh, so he's going to be one of our strikers. Uh, let's see. Who else here? Uh, Eric Stomperud from Asker. He's the one guy we paid for $150. He can play all three backline positions. Uh, so if we play the 4-4-2, he can fill in anywhere. If we play the 3-3-2-2 that we're looking at, he can play center. He can play both wing backs. And, uh, you know, not the paciest, but he can cross the ball. He can dribble. He, he's got better finishing than a lot of guys on the team. First, I mean, you know, so he's really well-rounded. So I, I do like him. Three and a half star current. So uh, we paid some a little bit of money for him. Uh, then we brought in Kenneth Olison on a free, and he is a goalkeeper. So we will have uh, a new goalkeeper replacing Venedict this year. 
Uh, our backup keeper went out on, uh, he, he uh, not on loan, he, uh, somebody bought him on a free, and then and he wasn't very good, our backup keeper. So we brought in a, a reserve keeper on a loan, and then this guy popped up in my scouting. He is 32, so we signed a veteran keeper, uh, but he's going to be the best keeper we've had in a while. So looking forward to that. In fact, if we compare him with Venedict, uh, Venedict's shot stopping is a little bit better, but I think this guy's better all around. So, uh, anyway, that's the, uh, gamble that we went with there. Now, Loney's, uh, St Stephanie Magnuson, he comes to us from SM Kane. Uh, he is another striker, very, very pacey, one of the fastest guys on the teams. Uh, very, very good mental, great composure, 13 finishing. He's come off the bench twice, playing a 6-8 in the friendlies with one assist. He can take penalties. Uh, passing is good, so he and, and heading is heading is solid, but he can't jump because he's only 5'8". Uh, but uh, depth up at the striker position. Then we brought in uh, Jorn Orosith from Konsvinger. Uh, he is a center back. Again, we were looking at converting to this 3-3-2-2, and we'll, we'll look at that in a minute. So wanted to make sure I brought in an extra center back and upgrade that position. Uh, very good physicals. Heading is an 8, markings 13, tacklings 11. So defensively very solid. Uh, bravery, positioning, teamwork. Uh, so liked him. Uh, he's come off the bench twice playing a 6-8. Uh, Rune Holland, this is the reserve keeper that we brought in, and he's not bad, but then we signed the other keeper, and so he's not even registered, so he, he'll be a waste. They'll probably bring him back uh, middle of the season. And the last guy we brought in was Oswald Rasmussen from Hamcam. Uh, he comes to us on a loan. Again, he can play left back in the 4-4-2. He can even play up at the left wing. Uh, in a 4-4-2. He might be able to slide back, but he's but he's only 5'8". Not very good defensively. I signed him to be a the, the wing back on the left side. Very good physicals, pace, acceleration. He can dribble the ball first touch without falling on his face. And he's got average marking, passing, technique, and above average tackling skills. So that's what we're looking at. Let's go ahead and get to the match for today. And we are playing uh, Ranheim. We are heavily favored. And uh, so we're going to play with our new tactic. So where did I come across this tactic? Well, I was watching YouTube the other day, and one of the channels I subscribe to is a, uh, a tactic tester from FM Scout. And uh, so I was looking at this, and, and he... I think he played with Sheffield Wednesday, and they were picked to finish near the bottom of the table... Uh, and they ended up finishing in uh, the playoff spots uh, in the championship and uh, had a really good season, some good good numbers. So this is the tactic. We're going to play it as it as it as we downloaded it, which is the higher line playing the trap. I think we've got a little bit better uh, center backs this year. Uh, we do play the Gagan press, the counter press and counter. Uh, play out of defense, work the ball into box, uh, direct passing, higher tempo. So that's the tactic itself. So let's see. That's not what I wanted. Match preview and Halson. All right. Let's go ahead. Oh, we also uh, we signed a new general manager. We got a new uh, scout and we got a new uh, head physio. All right, so Romero, this is uh, one of our new guys, Diego Romero, 21 years old, 22 caps for Andorra, seven goals internationally, and I like him a lot. And then Stefanir Magnuson, 21-year-old from Iceland, 13 finishing, very, very pacey. Valterson's going to move up into the Mazella role in that central midfield in this tactic. Uh, Middleton. Middleton actually played a little bit of striker in the friendlies, and he scored, I think, four goals. Uh, so uh, he is somebody that we'll have to look at. Three goals, I'm sorry. Uh, so somebody we'll have to look at as uh, maybe a reserve striker for us. But he's going to slot into that central. Uh, Sue into that deep-lying playmaker. 
Rasmussen on the wingback side. That's one of our new players. Bergheim. Now, Bergheim has been playing a lot of center back, center mid, but uh, with some of the guys we have out, he's going to be over on that right wingback. And then we have Safarth, our holdover from center back last year. Uh, Yoruga, the guy that we signed late last year. And then also Stomperud, uh, our, one of our new players in, at center back. And Olison in the goal, our new keeper. That is going to put, uh, what did I just do? I don't know. What did I just do? Overview. All right. We'll have uh, Venedic on the bench, Hawkins, Lopez, Avenel. Now, Avenel, I like him too. I mean, he's, he's, he's from Guadalupe. That's the guy we signed late last year. Um, I think he's going to see a lot of game time. And Akinola's not in the team. Uh, poor Harkison, uh, we had to promise a spot. But because he can play that wing, the wing back, uh, we wanted him there. Uh, Truis Advold, um, again, we signed him early. And then with this tactic, we're not going to need him very much. One name that you don't see is Nilsson. He is hurt. He got hurt in the second friendly, and he is out for about six weeks. So luckily, we did sign a couple of strikers. So we've got the depth now. And I was look. The reason I looked at this one when it popped up is I was really looking for that two striker tactic. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, you know, we had good results, but again, some of those friendlies. It's hard to tell. And I don't play the friendlies anyway. So, and I've I've mentioned that before. All right. Olison lumps it forward. Romero comes back and controls it. Middleton, the long ball out to the left. Rasmussen plays it in. Romero. Well, he lays it back out. Oh, Rasmussen into the defender. Oh, we want a header. Look out. Dangerous, dangerous. All right, there's a ball, uh, and he lets it go. I think he was offsides. Probably a good call by him. Good thought process, so I'm seeing some good stuff with the ball movement. You know, tell him to get creative. They're inspired. You know, again, players out, players in. You know, we've got some team cohesion problems. All right. Whoa, there's a power header. Just goes over the bar. All right, Rasmussen's the only one with a card for us now. All right, halftime. Possession slight. You know, we're, we're in the match. That's the big thing. Uh, encourage the team. Play it calm. The good news is, well, I don't even want to say it because I don't want to jinx it. Oh, there it is. Touch it. Touch it. Oh, my God. Nobody could power it across the line. Oh, and he just lumped it out of play. That was sitting on the goal line, just begging for a touch. All right, he lumps it out. Bergenheim. Oh, there's one over the top. Romero makes the run. Can he finish it? Yes! First goal of the season goes to Diego Romero. And we are up 1-0. So again, this is a, a tactic from FM Scout. It's called the, uh, well, okay. Nice finish. I like that. It's called the Schappenside 20.1 Undefeated. And the guy that created the tactic oh our keeper did not come oh he's a sweeper keeper i was expecting him to make a charge on that ball luckily he made himself big and made the stop but oh my god 
that was not uh, not good. All right, let's look at a sub here. Bergenheim. All right, wing back right. So Ryan Hawkins. Let's see, Ryan Hawkins. Now that's our old right back, so he can certainly play out there. He's got pace. He's 22. The other guy is Sternerson. He's Norwegian. He doesn't have the pace. I want to, uh, yeah, I want to bring Hawkins over there. And then everybody else is playing pretty fair. Um, tell you what, I want to bring, I'm going to bring Middleton up for Magnuson. And then Magnuson. Now, Valterson, no, we're going to bring Stinnerson in for him. All right, there we go. All right, let's give him some praise. Those cats, man, they're always on the freaking rampage. All right. All right, that's put into the box, headed out. All right, let's make a quick sub call here. All right, Jimmy Sue. Or Rasmussen. Rasmussen is... All right, we'll drop him there. And we'll drop Middleton back, and then we'll bring Avenel in. All right, well, that, that'll be what we have to do. All right, Romero loses the ball. Come on, fellas. Oh, chested it down. And Martin Edverson puts it in the back of the net. Olison lets that one through. There's where we got beat over the top. We're playing the high, the high ball here. Yep. All three, well... He's he's offsides for these two, but he's keeping every Hawkins is keeping everybody on. Yep, Hawkins kept everybody on, and it was his guy. Oh, that's brutal! Damn it! All right, Stomperud plays a long diagonal. Hawkins had not made the run yet. Edverson over the top, and everybody. <laughs> everybody just kind of stopped and watched him run that's one of the things i don't like about the offsides trap uh to be if i'm being honest all right alvanel avanel he's got a runner can he hold it make the play there it is no oh, just missed come on boys all right, he plays it in. There's a deep ball to Romero. Makes the run. Cuts it in. Oh, I thought we were going to get a volley shot there or something. Who's that? Uraga. All right, the center backs collapse. Shot goes wide. Push forward. All right, Avenel. All right, we've got a two-on-one breakaway. Make the run. You're off sides. There it is. Oh, no, off the bar. Oh, Romero, if you would have drifted out a little bit. Oh, that would have been a hell of a shot. All right, there's another one, Romero. He drills it right at the keeper. No finishing ability there. Come on. You're supposed to be better than that. There's a header, just goes high. Uh, I really think we deserve to win here, fellas. All right, another dangerous ball. Romero, somebody give him some support. Oh, 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 dirty play in the box. Is that Stuart Dallas from, the, from Leeds? I don't know who that is. All right, who's taking this? Avenel. Oh, he shot it wide. All right, we just don't deserve to win this match. 
Oh, that was brutal. 16 shots, 6 to 3 on target, 6 to 5 on chances, even possession. Damn. Unlucky. I, I think we should have won the game. Ah, uh, that's disappointing. Romero scores on his debut. Uh, let's see. Magnuson, Olison, Middleton, Stomperud, Raz Rasmussen, and Bergenheim, and Avenel all made debuts. What's that? Six, seven, eight debuts. <laughs> eight debuts in one match how crazy is that so I, I think that just shows the talent we tried to bring in this year um you know what we're gonna go ahead and end it at one match because we're at 25 minutes with all the other stuff that we covered i do appreciate you guys checking the video out please hit the like button subscribe and all that and we will talk to you guys next episode have a good one bye